Good morning guys, I'm on my way to the studio and today I am tattooing Martin. Martin is a regular client of mine from Denmark who's been coming with me for a lot of years now. Uh, the first thing we did on him were his thigh, which are probably, I don't know, maybe even five years ago, I think. And uh, then we did his full back. Uh, that would be three, four years ago, I guess. And then uh, we did his full front, probably a couple years ago. And uh, did his sleeves, working on his sleeves last year. And uh, now we're starting up his other sleeve. So I've done a lot of work on Martin. And in general, he has collected a lot of different tattoos from our studio, from different artists, and also from artists not from our studio. So he's kind of like a collector. Uh, getting tattoos from, from dope artists and stuff like that. Just like traveling and getting a couple pieces and stuff like that. So yeah, we are gonna work together. And uh, of course, I'm gonna put a lot of emphasis on showing you guys how my work look healed. Um, Cause there's a huge difference in what a fresh tattoo looks like and a healed tattoo look, looks like. Those two aren't comparable, especially not today. Uh, there is just like a lot of uh, there's a lot of artists doing amazing work, but I don't believe that there are as many good artists that do amazing healed work. Um, so really, like number one tip for you to get a good tattoo for the rest of your life is not just to look at people's fresh work; it is really to look at how their healed work look, because that is the result that you're gonna wear for the rest of your life. And uh, it's something that I have put an extreme amount of attention to and focus to, to create tattoos that heal uh, really, really well and looks good forever. And I think the reason also that not everyone is doing it that is that it kind of compromises your photo, to be honest, on the fresh heal day. Because um, when you do a lot of saturation and you do like deep enough in the skin to everything sticks and stuff like that, the overall balance at the end of the day isn't really as good as it could be uh, which means when my tattoos heal they look better than when I do them fresh so I really like my tattoos more after heal which is I think in the industry right now a rare thing of course there is a lot of artists that can do the same thing I'm not saying that it's not possible and I believe that everyone in our studio is mastering that thing but it is a general wide problem for tattoo artists not daring to put the right tone sh shading to light um, yeah and just not using the proper tones so it is not gonna end up as good as the heel result so that is major importance if you're looking for a tattoo look for people's healed work because that is what you're gonna wear for the rest of your life not the fresh work and there is just a lot of people putting out pictures that doesn't look like what it is Next up, of course, we have photoshopping and stuff like that, which changes the photos. We don't have to get into that, but you just really gotta look out and uh, and research your artists, because what you see is not is might not what you get. Um, and of course, repetition is a good thing. Um, waiting list is probably a good thing too. Uh, most good artists, really good artists, have waiting list so if you can get an appointment tomorrow or just like within the next week you there's a chance that that artist isn't as good um of course it's that artist is newly started in the studio haven't built up things relations and blah 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 there are situations or just an artist isn't unknown but it is like uh, a good thumb rule just to to see if they have waiting list uh, and they have a big clientele because that shows as well that they do good work over time because like uh, clients that get good heel tattoos will keep coming uh, yeah that's just a, a couple of things that I wanted to talk about uh, but yeah I'm gonna show you guys all the work I did on Martin over the years I'm gonna talk about when we did it uh, when in my career we did it and kind of like where it was and stuff like that I think we can we will do something cool today uh, and as well, then we're gonna start up a new piece, uh, which are gonna be the Greek god Menelaus, where I am adding, I'm starting to like change up some of the things. It's kind of like the same style that I've been doing, but I'm working a little bit more with symbols now 
and kind of like a different layering. I'm going working a little less with a little different with my compositions. I'm going I'm just starting to do more details. I'm going to put I'm starting to put like a little more elements into my work, making it a little more complex. Uh, I'm getting better and better in every day and I think now that I can achieve more complex tattoos in short amount of time. So that's why I started doing it uh, really. And I have a lot of fun doing a little more details than I used to do. Uh, of course, all my work always had details, but I'm putting a little lower contrast now to get like a little more gray tone details and just have fun, man. Trying to, to differ all the time, evolve all the time. I've, we probably talked about it before, but I haven't done like one to two that I'm just like super proud of or anything. I'm like, I'm, I'm still looking for the perfect tattoo and this long way to go. I want to evolve every day. So yeah, I'm just changing up small things. I've always done that for my career, just changing up small things, which change the full expression. And um, yeah, I, I think really for the last six months, one year, my work has really developed a lot. And uh, I'm looking forward to keep doing that, man. Uh, yeah, every time we go, we go 110%. We have to, we push every time. We, I, I believe as a tattoo artist, we're, we're creating tattoos on human skin and people, they have to live with it forever. So I can promise all of my clientele that every time they sit down in my chair, I give it the maximum that I have for the day. I will give myself 100%, not 80, not 90. I'll give myself 100%. I'll tattoo like the snow tomorrow. Yeah, I think that's that's one of the most important things to keep up a high level as a two artist. Having that respect for your client that traveled or just came and sits down to get something from you permanently, forever, for the rest of his life. It's crazy dedication. And every tattoo artist that get this should really feel that respect and honor because that is a tremendous amount of respect and honor. So do your fucking best or don't do it at all. Visuals, baby. Is it wrong to be strong? You beat the judge. That's a good spot. That's a good spot. So, as we talked about in the car, we're going to do the middle now. Greek God. Greek God. <laughs> And uh, yeah, here, here is up for the design. We're gonna do like a little smaller composition today, more elements, and uh, some of the symbols and stuff that I normally use, but in a little bit different context. And um, yeah, you can you can get kind of get the sense of where we're going with it. It's um, it's gonna be dope. So let's get it airdrop to the computer, find the right size, and put this bad boy on. So first up, we're gonna print to see if we can find the size that fits his body. And we're gonna print the sketch as well with the image on his body part. Plus, often, I, I kinda got it now, but uh, before I used to do it a lot. And if it's a bigger scale work, I do it a lot. Cause kinda like you print something out and suddenly you're doing a different size than what you actually prepared. You put it on the body and suddenly the composition is different than you, you originally planned to. So I always print uh, the side sketch so I can kind of like see where I wanted to put it at. And as well, we're putting on, uh, focus on creating the statue today. So I'm putting that on singular. So as well, I have to like kind of see what size wise that's gonna be because I'm not putting the patterns and everything today. So yeah, it's just a good tip. Today I'm making Anos' first tattoo. It's like a circle with some pyramids and some, what are they called, palm trees. And then there's like a road going to it. We're gonna make it like a fine line. We already did all the lighting, so now we're gonna put some shadow on it.
Now we're ready. We got our Stelzer drawing. I drew this out on my iPad, which is uh, something I do by hand. There is programs to create stencils. I don't think they work really for me, definitely. I um, think they, they take some of your style away if you have a computer-generated stencil. So I always do the stencil by hand. It takes extra time. It probably takes me like an hour or sometimes even my, maybe an hour and a half to, to, to do this, but it just makes up for way better work. It's my brain and how I see the photo instead of the computer's way of looking at it. So this is my stencil drawing I did on the iPad. And now we're gonna make this stencil. Application time. Some pictures and wrap it up. So here we are with Martin, and uh, as I said in the car, Martin has a big collection from me and also from other artists in the studio. And I just want to show you guys some of the, the stuff. So the leg piece, I think I said five years in the video. It's like four, maybe almost five years now. Healed. Um, then second up, we did the back piece, which is now three years old and of course fully healed three years and we did the full front two years ago along with the smoke sides everything so healed for two years now and uh, the arm we did I think this is a little older than the other yeah. ones but we didn't finish the arm yet but Martin is too much in a hurry so he can't stay one place so we're doing the other arm today but yeah, so these pieces are one year old. Yes. Things like this. This was this one's not finished yet, but like inside this one is one year old now, fully healed. Yeah. Then you got some cool pieces, collections. You have Gebwood from the studio, Andreas, guest artist from the studio, Casabo, Checho, Exo on your knee. Yeah. So all Gebwood pieces. That one. Yeah, it's old give wood. It's good yeah. wood. Give wood. This one. That's old give wood pieces. Yeah. yeah. A lot of different things. Maybe Lindell. Wait. Yeah. So today I'm uh, I'm with my good friend Peter, and uh, we're continuing on uh, his arm with. Uh, we did a lot of uh, portraits and uh, artsy stuff. Ali and uh, Bowie, and uh, we're doing an elbow piece today. Um, it's a French lily, yeah, French lily. Um, it was kind of fun to see how, because when Peter wrote to me, he was uh, imagining getting it directly on the elbow. Uh, so it was a challenge to figure out how to come about that, and um, I think we landed on a quite a nice thing. Yeah. We are getting started up for the day, putting in the first thing, and I think Martin is feeling pretty all right. Yeah, he's tried right. it, tried it once or twice before, <laughs> so he knows what we're doing. <laughs> so we're moving on 
to some of the hair statue. We like practically just going on the left side at first, uh, building our way to the right. And the detail, so the process I do is I kind of like, I put all the blacks in so I can get a quick visual and then I can shade over different things later. But um, getting a good move on, putting in a good amount of details. There is no pain, only gain. All right, so we're done for today, and um, I'm really happy with uh, the result. And uh, Peter, he yeah, took it like a champ. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, nothing to do but high five and uh, cheers. Oh. <laughs> We've done most of the details in the face by now. Still need to do some shading in the right side of the beard and move on to the helmet. So again, just making sure everything is crisp and tight, getting in the values, correct balances overall in the piece. And kind of now you get a kind of the sense due to the cast shadows from the helmet, cast shadows in the forehead and stuff like that. So the, the face is making a lot of sense now. So. We'll continue, we'll get this bad boy done today. Finito. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and look dope. We got to finish up the mini allowance piece for today. Um, we did the full statue as planned and next time we're gonna add the small sample from the sketch the front and the Greca pattern in the back to create some more layering. It's gonna give the uh, tattoo three uh, death points instead of one. So you can check out the final result. And by the way, it did hurt at the end. It's a wrap guys, the day is over and uh, you need to remember to subscribe, push the button subscribe, like, put some comments if you want, just comment what you want to see, what we should do, we, we're open for suggestions and we want to create some cool content for you guys, so hit it, see you next time. Mm -hmm.